Hey, what's up? How you doing today? Uh, I just came back from the doctor. Blood test. Tetanus vaccination. They just told me uh, you have to do that every 10 years. I didn't know. I mean, I think the last one was 20 years back. Nothing to be worried. It was just a regular check. Tomorrow I will go back to the doctor and I guess everything will be fine. So, <clears throat> sorry. I can understand when you hear the word color grading because ah, it's too complicated for me. It slows down, slows down my workflow. And besides, maybe you say the colors are good from my camera. Yes, right. They are good, but maybe not very good. And personally, I think when you have already spent so much money on your camera, on your gear, you should also get everything out of your baby. So this video, I want to show you how easy and fast you can make your recording in the ideal case in 10-bit, but it also works very well with 8-bit. In Final Cut Pro, uh, I have used in the past a lot of different plugins before, but with the LUT plugin from Motion VFX, it's so easy and fast, just baby easy. And by the way, Motion VFX did not sponsor me. I wish it was so. Well, maybe soon. Hi, hello Motion VFX. So maybe you can see that video and come back to me. So first you have to download the MLUT plugin from Motion VFX and install it on Final Cut Pro, which is free of charge, by the way. If you have already some LUTs, you can also take them with you and use this program. Below I also briefly describe the link to the website. However, I also ordered the MLUT Movie 2 package. That cost an additional 89 bucks, but it's personally worth it for me. If it's okay with you, I will swing my butt over to the desktop and show you how my workflow works with this plugin. As I had mentioned at the beginning, I want to make it as easy as possible for you and not go ahead scientifically here. Um, I think it's clear to me that you can go much deeper into this matter, but this video should be for you who first get into the topic of color grading. So when you have loaded your material on Final Cut Pro X and created the timeline, I will now drag this video on to the timeline. Then I got to the effect browser and pull the plugin MLUT on the selected clips. By the way, here you can already see some of my own LUTs that you can easily save later in this plugin. What I always do first is to reduce the intensity to 50 percent. In most cases, you shouldn't be over it anyway, because your color grading should still be looks natural at the end. I made these mistakes myself at the beginning and then turned up 
the effects too much. As they say goes, less is sometimes more. Now you open the MLUT presets and you can start choosing a look for your video. It's fun and as I said, baby easy. The lock to Rec 709 utility is also very interesting, where I sometimes also use the lock from Ari. <laughs> if I can't afford an Ari camera, then at least the LUT. And it works amazingly well at times. But as I said, here you can try everything you like. Second, you should definitely look into your RGB waveform with command C. Here it is very easy to note that the shadows not below zero should rather go a little higher because otherwise all color and brightness information underneath will be destroyed. The same then also applies to the highlights which should always be below 100 because otherwise you will destroy all information here as well. Since my camera profile is set to very flat and neutral but I sometimes still use the sharpening tool and don't go beyond 2.5. When I film in 4K HQ from my personal point of view, the videos are much too sharp and no longer seem natural at all. The same applies to photos. Everyone talks about sharp images, but I often see that many pictures are over sharpened and no longer have anything to do with the reality. I admit that I sometimes caught myself over sharpening today. I tried to take the edge off. Uh, a mist filter helps here because I love. So maybe you have recognized that I also used in this video two different LUTs. At, at 3 minutes and 30 seconds I switched to a, another LUT here from my studio setup. And let me know down below if you like the first one or the second one. I prefer the second one. Uh, I hope you have learned a little bit out of this video. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Peace.